Hey everyone, Carl here with Trial Bite Studios, and today I want to cover one of the most recognizable prehistoric mammals in the fossil record, Smilodon. Now Smilodon has been featured in a plethora of movies, TV shows, and documentaries, all focusing on this amazing cat, like Walking with Prehistoric Beasts, and the National Geographic Channel original Prehistoric Predators, not to mention Prehistoric Park. But with so many depictions and each one different from the last, it makes me wonder, what did they really look like? How did they actually live? What did they eat? And what led to their demise? Well, in this episode of Trilobites, we attempt to answer these questions and more on Smilodon, the King of the Ice Age. Discovered in the 1830s by the Danish naturalist Peter Wilhelm in a series of caves near the small town Lagoa Santa Minas Guerreras, Brazil, I'm sorry, my Portuguese is not very good. Uh, Wilhelm originally believed that the few teeth he discovered belonged to a hyena dog, a larger predator native to Eurasia and North America. It was not until more fossils were discovered that Wilhelm later named his new find as Smilodon Populator, which means two-edged knife tooth destroyer. Wow, that's, uh, that's quite the name. I don't know about the destroyer part, but the, uh, the two-edged knife was not an understatement. With 11-inch canines, these cats had a ferocious bite that could have easily torn through soft tissue. I keep calling Smilodon a cat, but that's not exactly the case. While they do belong to the same part of the family tree as your common household friend, they're only vaguely related to one another. Around 16 million years ago in Africa, both the Smilodon and modern living cats shared a common ancestor. As cats spread out of Africa and into the rest of the world, they split into two groups, the canonical toothed cats and the knife toothed cats. Conical tooth cats are distinguished by the cone-like crown on their teeth, while knife tooth cats are distinguished by the knife-like edge on their teeth. The common house cat belongs to the conical family, and Smilodon belongs to the knife family. Smilodon itself is separated into three species, Smilodon fatalis, Smilodon gracilis, and Smilodon populator. The northernmost species, and the one that called North America home, is Smilodon fatalis. This animal roamed the open woodlands and savanna from Alberta, Canada, all the way to Los Angeles, California. It's actually in California where we draw the most information about this cat from tar pits, like the one found at La Brea. Tar pits act as a natural predator trap that to this day still capture and kill predators and prey alike. Prey animals fall into the pits and become trapped. As they struggle to free themselves, the noise attracts predators, which then in turn become trapped as well. In these pits, we find Smilodons of all ages and different body conditions. This shows that, like lions, Smilodon might have hunted and lived in prides. Smilodon's choice game included prey like bison, camels, horses, and even juvenile mammoth if they could manage to take one down. Next is Smilodon gracilis, the smallest of the three species. Native to the southeastern United States and parts of Central America, these cats weighed around 120 to 220 pounds, and probably hunted a mixture of both large and medium game, like tapir and deer. Last is the largest Smilodon, and the first Smilodon ever discovered, Smilodon populator. The size of a modern lion, this species of Smilodon lived in the savanna of Brazil roughly 2.5 million years ago to 10,000 years ago. Like their North American cousins, these cats hunted the large and unique herbivores of the southern continent. Smilodon populator quickly became the apex predator of South America due to a lack of competition. The success of these cats make them a beautiful and deadly addition to the fossil record. Smilodon has captured the human imagination, not only since its discovery, but also when it haunted the dreams of prehistoric man and hunted them from the shadows.